before we get started, let's talk about the lace and also the lace colors. The wig that I'm using in today's video is a Swiss lace wig. The confusion comes when we start using the word transparent. A lot of people define transparent as being invisible. When you see this on a wig, the transparent is actually the color, which you can see on my right hand side. On tan to dark skin, the transparent lace will show up white. So if you ever have this problem, that's because this lace is a bit lighter. You can tint that lace to be darker. However, this wig that I will be applying today, which is on the left, is the Swiss lace. And Swiss lace melts with any type of skin tone. So I think this little bit of information is important, especially if you want your lace to melt and look very nice against your skin tone. All right, so let's jump right into this today's video. I'm laying this wig down with little to no work. I'm not bleaching no knots, girl. I'm not plucking no hairline either. So today's wig is a 13 by six wig. I'm adding the perfect line twist to the inside of the cap and I'm just going to push back this hairline with the hot comb. So the texture of this wig is a silky straight. Silky straight texture is going to be very easy to work with. Now, as far as it holding a curl, if you are looking for your wig to hold a curl, I would recommend definitely um, getting a body wave texture because it holds a curl really well. However, the straight silky textures is just for that put on and go, get out the door type of wig. And with this wig being a Swiss lace, you don't need to really worry about blending that lace. Perfect line Swiss that I added inside of the cap is is so simple to use and easy to hide those knots so you don't even need to bleach the knots. So if you see my previous video you know I tried the Even Wonder Lace Bond Spray Adhesive. So today I'm not going to use this for my install but I am going to use it for my ball cap method because we are going to glue this wig down with the Even Lace Bond glue not the spray but the actual glue I told you all that I wanted to try out this glue however today's video is just going to focus on the application and how messy or how neat it is to install whenever I'm using wig adhesive I always do the ball cap method prior to the application if you would like to see a more detailed video on how I do this make sure to check out my previous video because I'm just going to speed through it in today's video so I am not going to do any type of plucking, as I said, to this hairline. It does come with a pre-plucked hairline, and girl, let me tell you, it does not need any work. Hey, so I'm just going to push it back with the hot comb. If you do not tweeze the hairline, you want to make sure all of the hair is out of the way. You do not want any hair on that glue. You want just the lace to stick to it. So the Even Wonder Lace Bond Wig Adhesive Glue, this is the Active Extreme Firm Hold. And I'm going to talk about this glue and compare it to the spray later in the video because there's some things I wanna talk about when it comes to comparing both of these, but we'll get to that later. I'm applying small dots of glue around the perimeter of my head, also spreading that out. I wanna make sure that if I spread this, it's spread it evenly. I don't think I'm going to add a second layer because I feel like the dots that I apply is just enough. So I'm using the back of my razor. You can use a popsicle stick, whatever you have. After about 10 minutes, it did turn clear. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig on top of the glue. You don't want to apply it while it's white. You wanna make sure it turned clear first. And I'm using the back of my comb to press the lace down onto that glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it down with a satin scarf and then I'm going to take the dryer to it for about five minutes on a cool setting and then I let it sit for an hour tied down before I took down the wrap. So right off the top, I can tell you guys that the glue takes a little minute to dry. It took about, I wanna say at least 10 minutes for it to get clear but it still has some white spots. So I'm very curious to see what the hold is gonna be like. 
So again, this is the Even Wonder Lace Extreme Hole Active Glue. This is my first time using it. I only apply one layer of this glue because I don't normally apply more than one layer when I use anything. If I wear a wig adhesive, I want the adhesive to hold, which is one layer. I don't wanna have to put three, four, five, six layers to get an extreme hole. Do that make sense? This is supposed to be waterproof. We'll see. I'm gonna just go ahead and style this wig and then I'll be back to take this off and hopefully it stick down because when I went to stick it, it kept coming up. But Oh yes, honey, scalp, you see that, right? I will put the Perfect Line Swiss link down below in the description box, so make sure you look there. So I'm gonna go ahead and untie this. I've had this tied down now for about 30 minutes, so we're gonna see what it looks like. Hopefully the lace is stuck down because like I said, I had a hard time trying to get it to stay. So let's see what it is. One thing I did notice, pulling my head scarf off, it didn't leave any white residue when I pulled it up, which is great because a lot of times your scarf can get stuck to the adhesive. I didn't pluck the hairline on this wig. I just felt like I didn't want to. That's why I also didn't bleach the knots. I just used a perfect line Swiss on the inside of the cap. Right here in this area, there is a little bit of lifting right there. The application looks really clean on the sides. I like that. And this side is stuck. This is very important for me because a lot of times my sides never stick, but this part sticks. So it's kind of weird. I'm thinking maybe because I have that Perfect Line Swiss product here, it is causing it not to stick as much as it needs to. Probably want to leave a half an inch of that hairline so that you can glue it down because I don't think it's going to stick with that Perfect Line Swiss. That's probably why. But let me clean up this hairline and then we'll talk about it. I think what I'm gonna do is take some of the Wonder Lace spray and spray the areas that I feel like may lift, like this one right here and also here, just to kind of touch it up. If you use the spray to touch up areas, you may wanna be careful. This is not a hairspray, okay? This is actual adhesive. So if you have not seen my previous video talking about this product, make sure to go check out that video. You want those details, but do not use this like hairspray. It's still a wig adhesive, so be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some powder to cover up the knots that I did not cover with the Perfect Line Swiss. All right, so this is what we are working with. I did go back and add some layers to this hair. I just felt like it needed some. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. I will be sure to link it below in the description box. Before I get into my thoughts on this, I wanna answer a question someone had about this. Some of you wanted to know how to remove this one um, when it comes to removing your wig. And honestly, I just use water. Water just made it come right on up for me. <laughs> Spray the hairline down with some water and it lifts up. So the thing that has me a little confused about both of these is they both say they do the same exact thing, except this one does not say that it's waterproof. So they're both named the same thing. They both say they are extreme firm hold. This one says active, this one says active use. Um, but like I said, the difference is this one says that it's waterproof, whereas this one does not. The convenience for both of these are gonna be different depending on what you need. But I have not really tried out like, or wear test with this. So for this spray right here, I promise it holds all day. It's really, really good. Really comfortable also on the skin, unlike the hairsprays. The hairsprays can be a bit um, tight, have that tight feeling throughout the day. This does not do that, just depending on how much you use. Like I said, I only use 
one to two layers. So if you use a lot, you probably will end up with tightness, but for one or two sprays, it definitely is really good. As far as the application for this Extreme Firm Hole Active Glue, I have a few shine spots right here. I can clean it up with some alcohol, but I always go back with a little bit of foundation powder to kind of dole out any shine that I have from wig adhesive so it don't bother me. I would recommend not putting anything on a lace before you actually glue it down. And then if you need to do it to shine for the glue after you have, you know, let it sit for 30 minutes or so, then you can kind of touch it up with some powder. I did notice when I applied this and it went from white to like this purplish type of color. It was like a neon bluish purple. Not sure what that was about, but I could not get it to dry completely clear. I had some spots that was still a bit white. However, I don't find that it affected my application. Like I said, I'm really impressed that my sides are stuck. Like guys, look at that. And I don't wanna pull too hard because last time I did, I was sore. It's not lifting. And that is a really great thing. Yeah, you guys drop me in the comments. So if you guys have any tips for using this one, definitely drop it below. And yeah, let me know if you tried it. Again, this hair is from Ronnie Hair. I will be sure to link it below. Be sure to check that link, check the description box. I'll put everything down there. And I will see you all back in my next video.